Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is evening prayer for Monday, March the 23rd. It's the fifth week in Lent. And you may hear rain falling on the roof in the background. The scripture for this service, Psalm 35 and John chapter 9, verse 1 through 17. Please join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columba. Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth and seas for you. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Plead my cause, O God, most high, with them that strive against me. Psalm 35. Please recite it together with me. Plead my cause, O God Most High, with them that strive against me. Fight them that fight me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up and help me. Draw the spear and stop them that persecute me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek my life. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that plot my harm. Let them be like chaff before the wind, and let your angel chase them. Let their path be dark and slippery, and let your angel persecute them. For without cause they have hid their net in a pit, to take me alive. Let destruction surprise them. Let them be caught in the net that they have hid, into that very pit. Let them fall. My soul shall be joyful in you and rejoice in your salvation. My whole being shall say, My God, who is like you, who delivers the poor from the oppressor and the needy from those that rob them. False witnesses rise up, and they charge me unjustly. They rewarded me evil for good. My soul is in despair. But when they were sick, I dressed in sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting and prayed with my whole heart. As if they had been my friends or brothers, I bowed down and grieved as one that mourns for his mother. But they rejoiced when I stumbled and gathered themselves together. They gathered themselves against me. They surprised me and tore me to pieces and would not stop. They mocked me and put me to the test. They gnashed me with their teeth. O oh God, how long will you look on? Rescue me from their destructions. Save my life from these lions. I will give you thanks in the great congregation. I will praise you among the peoples. Let not my lying enemies rejoice over me. Do not let them that hate me without cause wink eyes at each other. For they do not wish for peace, but they devise plots against the peaceful in the land. They opened their mouths wide against me and said, Aha! With our own eyes we have seen it. You saw it, O God. Keep not your silence. Be not far from me. Arise and awake to my cause. Come to my defense, O God most high. Vindicate me, my God, according to your righteousness. Do not let them rejoice over me. Do not let them say in their hearts, Ah, just as we would have it, we have swallowed him up. Let them that rejoice at my hurt be ashamed and confused. Let them that boast against me be clothed in shame and dishonor. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Let them ever say how great you are, who takes pleasure in my prosperity. And my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and sing your praise all the day long. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, 
as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Plead my cause, O God Most High, with them that strive against me. A lesson from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 9, beginning at verse 1. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? And Jesus answered, neither this man nor his parents sinned. He was born blind so that God's works might be revealed in him. We must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. And when he had said this, he spat on the ground and made mud with his saliva and spread the mud on the man's eyes, saying to him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which means scent. Then he went and washed and came back, able to see. <clears throat> the neighbors and those who had seen him before as a beggar began to ask, Is this not the man who used to sit and beg? Some were saying, It is he. But others were saying, No, but it is someone like him. But he kept saying, I am the man. But they kept asking him, Then how were your eyes open? And he answered, The man called Jesus made mud and spread it on my eyes and said to me, Go to Siloam and wash. Then I went and washed and received my sight. And they said to him, Where is he? And he said, I don't know. They brought him to the Pharisees, the man who had been formerly blind. Now it was a Sabbath day when Jesus made the mud and opened his eyes. Then the Pharisees also began to ask him how he had received his sight. And he said to them, He put mud on my eyes that I washed, and now I see. Some of the Pharisees said, This man is not from God, for he does not observe the Sabbath. But others said, how can, such, how can a man who is a sinner perform such signs? And they were divided. So they said again to the blind man, What do you say about him? It was your eyes he opened. And the blind man said, He is a prophet. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. And please respond, hear us, tender God. For those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the sick, especially Marjorie. For the aged and the infirm, especially Marjorie, Brother Ronald Francis, Brother Max Bartholomew. That they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For prisoners and captives, especially Robert, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For all who died, especially Lawrence and Donna, Brother Joseph Benedict, Brother Ramon Ivan, and Brother John William David, that, that together with Francis and Claire and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. We pray. Hear us, tender God. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O saving God, we rejoice at your mighty help. 
May we ever live our lives in your joy, and may our mouths ever praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.